Um, I wanted to take a chance and try Facebook Live and see how it does. Um, I'm getting ready to record a teaching on the Seven Mountains because I've had some questions about what that is, what that means. And I just wanted to take a few minutes and, and, and um, share my heart. Today is Pentecost and we know that the waves are coming and it says, I want to begin by reading Isaiah 60 verse 1 in the Passion Translation. It says, Rise up in splendor and be radiant, for your light has dawned, and Yahweh's glory now streams from you. Look carefully, darkness blankets the earth and thick gloom covers the nation. But Yahweh arises upon you and the brightness of his glory appears over you. Nations will be attracted to your radiant light and kings to your sunrise glory of your new day. Today is a new day. And I wanted to start by, um, I'm going to just share my heart. But I'm wanting to speak to my local community first. For those in the St. George Dorchester, Harleyville, Rosenville, and Grover areas. If you, and God's been speaking to me about this since January, and he said, I want you to ask today. If you have a hunger to bring the healing power of God in our communities, and you're hungry to pray and partner with the Holy Spirit with strategy and blueprints how to go forth from this day on, I am inviting believers to come together with me to pray. And I'm asking, um, I'm asking all across the churches, I don't care if it's a black church, a white church, a Mexican church. I'm asking the body of Christ for those in our communities who are hungry and they're like, I want to do something. I don't know what to do. I am inviting you to join me to begin to pray together. Um, I believe I'm going to do this at my home one day a week. And we'll go from there, but just to open the door to see who's interested. It is time for the body of Christ, and I'm looking in the mirror, to come together in unity. We're one body. We're one body. And I am praying that many will heed this call for our local communities. Um, because I do go out and about my day in the communities, but playing a more active role in what God wants me to do. So I'm asking those of the local communities who want to come together to pray, um, being Holy Spirit led to come together and, and bring healing and, and for our local communities. And like I said, this um, racism is a very um, passionate subject for me. It has been for a long time. And the Lord's been showing my husband and me since January that we would have a role in this. Both of us have a heart for unity in the body of Christ because if we can't have unity, in the body of Christ, we can't take the light into the world in those dark places. And as is Pentecost, we're stepping into a new um, time and a new wine. So as those waves come, the waves of glory, um, it's, 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 it's messy. Revival is messy. There's things that have to be shaken and rooted up. To bring healing it can no longer be swept under the rug it can no longer be ignored because it makes us comfortable it can no longer be an eye for an eye it cannot be a black church a white church a hispanic church no we're one body and as we come together then we will be able to go out and minister 
And so I am asking for the local bodies of believers who have a passion to see the whole body of Christ come into unity in this local community, my local community. Um, I, I ask that you would um, email me at Shannon at ShannonHodges.org and I'll add that to the comment Shannon at Shannon Hodges.org. I can't see without my glasses. I think that's right. For us to come together and begin to pray. Um, this is something that is directed by the Holy Spirit. And um, there, this morning I got up and at 7 o'clock we had prayer on. Um, we're doing prayer in, in my group with some intercessors. And they're from all over the world. From They're from every ethnic background. Um, everybody's represented. It, and we are praying in unity. And even in church today, um, it's called We Will Rise. And, and it is the same community from all over. But one of the things that so blessed me this morning is, is we feel helpless. What can we do? You know, um... And one of the things that Aaron said this morning was show the world what it looks like to have an undivided church. Multi-ethnic, multi-color, multinational church links arms together. And then we can go out because the world is in pain. The world is in pain. There are many people who are in pain. And my heart grieves. Deeply. About this subject. And I want. Everyone to know. Who are my friends. And even if you're not. I'm here to listen. I'm here to. Hug and love you. And just to be there for you and with you. And just to give the love of Jesus during this time. I don't know what many of you are going through. But I'm not here to judge you or try to convince you of anything except to love and be there. And we talked a lot about this this morning and it so moved me. Um, just some of the simple things that just brought me some breakthrough as I've been praying. Every person has value. God is after uprooting the cancers in this country to bring freedom and shaking has to happen to awaken and so I just wanted to come on here and share my heart I'm asking my community my local communities um, for those who would like to um, come together to just just be in the presence of God to worship and to pray come together and bring healing and then take that healing out into our communities and that can only happen if people will participate from every color every ethnic background we worship Jesus we worship one God through Jesus and for those who are hungry to see change, you don't know what to do, but you're available and you're willing, I am offering a space um, to come together to pray so that we can go out and, and, and minister light, love, and hope wherever we go. It's not hard. To love and to understand because Jesus is about being, bringing freedom. 
in this time and I want um, my African American friends to know I deeply love you and I care about you I do not know and understand what you're going through but I am here to stand with you and to my white friends the fear that's rising up with you as well I'm here to love you and be here for you and for us who have Jesus to come together and let's talk about the hard subjects and bring solutions and the light of Jesus into our communities I bless you I love you and may Jesus' light shine upon you and I pray Psalm 91 of protection over you and I just pray God that the angels would be released in the atmosphere and there's more on this but this is all that the Lord has told me to share at this time and so please if you are willing to come pray reach out to me and let me know and I will put something together it's time for our light to shine and bring about change and healing and freedom I bless you, I love you, and enjoy the rest of your day.